You might know giant pandas as the symbol of Chinese wildlife, but there is another rare species that has endured the test of time longer than the bear-like mammal, Chinese sturgeons. They have been roaming the Earth's waters for 140 million years. But the number of wild Chinese sturgeons has dropped sharply because of human activities including overfishing. What has been done to protect them? Let's find out. I went to Yichang City in central China's Hubei province to see firsthand how the endangered Chinese sturgeons are now flourishing through an artificial breeding program. And I attended an official release of 500 artificially bred Chinese sturgeons at the end of the trip. My first stop is a research institute which serves as a haven for the rare fish. Dr. Su Wei, who specializes in hydroecology at the institute, spoke in detail about their work. So I'm now here at the uh, Chinese sturgeon breeding workshop and within this uh, building there is there's an enclosure like this. When I spoke to the guys who work here, apparently they're fed uh, five times a day. Um, I think two twice in the morning and in the afternoon and also in the evening. So I'm going to have a go at feeding uh, some of their fingerlings. When they become bigger in size, the fingerlings are trained to catch fish on their own to make a smoother transition to the wild when they are released. So just now we went into the uh, indoor enclosure uh, where we saw, you know, uh, sturgeons that are a few months old. Uh, these sturgeons, uh, they are quite big in size and they're about three to four years old. So you can see the size difference. Uh, you can see the process where they actually stay in that enclosure for about, you know, a few years and they actually come out into this outdoor pool where they are bred, artificially bred. Through artificial breeding, millions of Chinese sturgeons have been cultivated and released into the Yantu River from its official release spot in Yichang City. Why was Yichang selected as the location? A day before the release, I spoke to Dr. Li Zhu Yuan, the vice director of the institute beside a river bank near the official release location. We are in the middle of this river, which is the main river of the river. We are in the middle of this river. We are in the middle of this river, which is the main river of the river. We are in the middle of this river, which is the main river of the river. We have a wish to keep the river from 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 the river. To prevent the Chinese sturgeons from extinction, researchers have been going all out to breed what they call the second generation of wild Chinese sturgeons in a man-made environment before releasing them back to the wild. I was fortunate enough to witness the whole process of how Chinese sturgeons are released. Now, I think it's, it's about 5, 10 now in the morning, and they, I think it starts around 4 o'clock. What they're doing now is they're loading the sturgeon fishes to be onto the trucks to take them to the release spot. Uh, let's take a quick look and follow me. These sturgeons are divided into five age groups from several months to nine years, and unbeknown to them, they'll be released into the wild. This is the 60th time that the Chinese sturgeons have been released since the institute opened in 1982. On an average, it is released one to three times a year, and so far, around 5 million Chinese sturgeons have set foot in the Yantu River. What we're going to do is we're going to try to transport it to the release. All right. You can see how it's done. So actually the bone and then the skin side is quite soft. So stroke it, stroke it from head. So I'm gonna release one. 
Take that. There we go. Uh, so it's basically released two at once. That was uh, more than what we expected. I expected to release just one. These sturgeons will gradually swim downstream into the Yantu River Delta before entering the sea. 500 Chinese sturgeons are being released at the ceremony and 50 of them have tracking devices on them. After their release, the institute continues to keep a close eye on the fish, tracking its moves through a sonar detection system. It then takes several years for them to swim back to mate and breed. Besides protecting the Chinese sturgeons, the China Free Gorges Corporation has built a complete ecological protection system along the middle reaches of the Yantu River. This provides botanical protection and water purification, and they are integrated into the Yantu River conservation strategy put forward by the Chinese central government. The Changjiang Protection Everyone agrees there's more work to be done, but the progress made so far shows that they're going in the right direction. I'm Josh, stay tuned with China Matters.